Hi, I'm Dr. Gerald Evans. I'm an infectious disease specialist at Kingston Health Sciences Centre in Kingston, Ontario, and we're going to talk a bit about this novel coronavirus. As many of you know, a novel coronavirus uh, has been causing illness uh, since December of 2019 and has spread uh, worldwide over the last few months. And um, this is a kind of scenario that we've seen before. We've seen with SARS and with MERS. Uh, and in some way, it has some semblance to what our worries were about pandemic influenza. Uh, the virus uh, appears to be able to be transmitted human to human, and so that's caused a lot of concern in the public about, you know, what should we do. Um, I think the good news is, uh, from 2003, when we had SARS, we've learned a lot. Uh, we've learned a lot about communication, the procedures and things that uh, we need to do in the healthcare sector and as well uh, really working on uh, trying to get that information out to the public in order to make sure that people aren't worrying and panicking. Uh, SARS uh, was a very different virus in many ways. It's in the same family. However, uh, it was associated with a lot of transmission in the healthcare sector. Um, and so I think we're really well prepared for, for what that's going to be. And at the moment, at least the data suggests that this is not uh, as deadly a virus as uh, SARS was, at least in terms of, uh, of case fatality rates. Um, what are we doing here at KHSC? We are doing a lot of screening now actively in places where patients come in with acute illness, including our emergency department, our urgent care center at Hotel Dew Hospital, as well as some clinics uh, where we do have patients who may present with respiratory illnesses, like our pediatric clinic at uh, Hotel Dew Hospital, as well as people who come directly into the hospital either uh, for labor and delivery or for direct admits to the, to the um, hospital units. Um, we have uh, instituted the appropriate precautions that have been demonstrated by uh, what we know, which is to make sure that our staff are protected using personal protective equipment, uh, as well as procedures that will help to reduce any potential for that uh, disease to be transmitted to them. And so all of these things in together have put us in good stead. We're coordinating well with our public health partners uh, and our other hospitals in our region that uh, really uh, help uh, you know, make sure that the patient care is not compromised at all by our, our the introduction of these sorts of measures. Um, for the public, I, I guess my big message would be that uh, I think that people need to be uh, calm about this. It, we are not a high risk area. Uh, there is no ongoing transmission out in the community. Um, you know, we are seeing pe a lot of people using masks these days. Uh, a mask is probably more effective in putting it on a person who might have the infection in order that they don't uh, spread it. But wearing a mask generally in public, especially here in Canada, is really not warranted. And we really have no idea whether that mask would actually even protect you uh, in this scenario because we're just really learning a lot about this virus and learning a lot about its, how it's transmitted and, and how uh, infective and how potentially uh, serious it is uh, for the general public. So my message is to um, not worry about this. Uh, I would not be wearing a mask in public um, and make sure you're washing your hands and doing all the measures that we talk about during influenza season. Uh, cough and sneeze into your elbow. Uh, don't go to work if you're sick. Stay home and uh, recover. And those are really the main things that I think uh, the public in general should be paying attention to.